Hello everyone. Today I have another 5x5 piston door for you. This one is 540 blocks in volume and I made this together with Soulbanished, WiskG and Emmetjo009 on the Synergy server. And what's special about this 5x5 is the opening. Because as you can see it's extremely fast for its size. This door actually opens in just 1.95 seconds and closes in 1.6 seconds. And that makes it the fastest 540 block 5x5 there is. So the way this works is that instead of storing 2 blocks on top and 3 on bottom, we store just 1 block on top and 4 on the bottom, and this way we can avoid having a refire on the opening and just have a single quad extension and retraction to open the door. This concept was first made by Exorden, but he used a slightly different sequence for the opening and we went and optimized the door and we came up with this design. Alright, so I'd say we go to the tutorial. So for this door you will need a 4x9 area with 4 blocks of space below the floor level and the door frame will be 1 block away from the edge. Right, so let's start with the layout. And we have 3 double extenders in the middle like this. For the storage we have pieces like this and like this, so the blocks will get stored here and same thing on the other side. And for the middle one we place a piston here and then pistons on each side just like that. Then for the sides Place five pistons as always, and on top we place these quad extenders. And to power the pistons when they are at this level, we push down observers, which will power this block and but power these pistons. And for the middle one, we push down an observer like this, and then to grab the block back up because it will be left here, we push over the sticky piston which just grabs it back. Alright, so let's start with the bottom now, and for that we place a slider in this corner. So a normal piston, then an observer, block. I like to use glass for this, but you don't have to. Another observer, another glass, and the observer pointing into the sides, downwards facing piston, and an observer on top. Right. So now we place two blocks like this, dust on top of the top one, and on the bottom a two tick repeater. Then two observers like this, dust on top, and the observer here with a one tick repeater, and an observer facing into this block. So if we activate this, this line will trigger three times and we use this to control the whole bottom. So first we need to power uh, these three pistons. And to do this we place a hopper here, dust. Block with dust. Go down one block. Place a hopper facing this way. Into a dropper which faces the hopper. An item inside to silence it. Dust on top, and then two slabs like this, and another hopper. And this already at these pistons. So now, two ticks later, we need to power these top one pistons of the extender, and also these pistons on each side. And to do this, we place piston here, which will get butt powered by this, another piston here. And we detect this piston with an observer into a block, into another piston, another observer here, a block which powers this one, but powers this one, and we update it with this piston. And same thing on the other side. Observer into a block, and an updater piston. So now we just need to power these pistons, and to do this we place this kind of V-shape, dust, two blocks in an observer, and then we need an un, uh, immovable block, which you place on each side, right directly on the uh, 
sides. Then place a hopper next to this one and observe us going into this. So now we just need to power these two pistons here and trigger the double extension. And to power this one, we just detect this two tick to observe us, two blocks and dust on top. On the other side, we detect this dropper, the observer, which goes into a one tick repeater. A normal piston upwards facing observer and another normal piston like this. So now we just need a double extension circuit. For that we place this V shape again, dust in the middle, and now we take a sticky piston, an observer, right next to this block where the slider is, and this will go into a hopper and an observer and do the closing. So it will end up like this and because we need to pull it down again on the opening we have a little toggle here so when this gets pulled back it gives two pulses and the way we get the second one is by adding these observers and then we just take them with this piston two observers and another piston and the observer into this block and to reset this we just add a piston here and an observer here and if we fill in storage blocks now, the closing should already work. And for the opening, we need the top. So let's just reset this, place this here. And now we can continue to work on the top. So let's first extend the door frame so we have some room to work with. And then we will place our input lines for the quad. And for that we just place dust right here. Four blocks like this. A normal piston right here to update them and dust on top. All right. So your input block will be right here. And for now we can just place a slab underneath with dust and an observer. And before we start with the closing, we need to place an observer here for the observer pusher in the middle because this will be hard to reach later. Okay, so place an observer like this and another one in the opposite direction. And we simply place three observers pointing to the left, a block here and the repeater on two ticks. And now we can actually start with the closing circuit. And for that we place a sticky piston here, an observer and the block right here. On top of this block we have a Fortec repeater and go around the corner with an observer into a block into another sticky piston and another observer. You place a block in the middle and rails on each side, uh, slats on each side with rails on top and observers pointing into these top pistons. And this is basically just to add delay so the closing looks nice. Okay. So now we can start with the wiring for the observer pushers and for that we grab a lamp, place two like this, dust on top and the reason we use lamps is that if we detect them with a observer, when they get one ticked, we'll get two pulses and this way we don't need to worry about retracting the observers again, that will just happen automatically. Okay, for the first one we just place an observer here, for the middle one an observer here into a block, place an observer here that will be used later, but for now we place dust on top, a slab here, a block up, dust on top of those, and if you are in 1.16 you can place a slab here, if you are below 1.16 you need to place an observer like this to redirect the dust, the door won't break but it will be nicer this way. Alright, so now to get the signal from here to the other side, we place a block here, a sticky piston and a block, an observer behind this one, a rail here, another observer into a block with dust and it's really important to cut this connection here. There's a sticky piston here and the block right next to this one, block here with a two tick repeater and connect to this line and that will make the pistons extend and update the ones below that get bothered. Okay. So all that's left now is to finish the quad retraction circuit and also the instant extension. So we'll start with that and 
place a slab here or they want the repeater we take a hopper which we place here with dust and which we take an output from this observer into a block and we simply place a slab with dust here and now we place a observer here detecting the two tick we place in the beginning a block here a piston right next to the block and then another block right here and this will be the instant extension circuit now we just need the quad retraction and for that we place an observer like this block here normal piston right next to the block observer pointing down another one pointing to the right a block and the one tick repeater and we take an output from this piston with an observer slap here so the signal can go down a two tick repeater an observer like this and then another piston like this and observer into the rails then we simply detect these top pistons with another observer go around the corner place a hopper an observer and a block and then we place a piston here and two observers like this and what this will do is on the closing it pulls away this block so that it doesn't mess up and on the uh, opening it will put it back in place and we can give this a test right now so we place these blocks right here. As you can see, this one already works. And for the other two, we have to do something on the bottom and connect it so they don't mess up like this. All right, so let's put that into place as well. So we will place the hopper right here. Observer like this observer like this then we take a normal piston here another normal piston here and now we take some glass or any other block and alternate glass observer glass observer place a hopper here with dust and a solid block right here also with dust and this will make this side close and we also detect this uh, hopper with an observer into a sticky piston with another observer into a hopper three more observers piston and the hopper up here and now we can almost test it we just need to connect the top and the bottom and for that we place a observer detecting this piston hopper next to the wall another observer right here and now we can give this a test. Right, so this already works. And the top also works. Now we just need to do this side and fill in the bottom. So to connect this side, we simply place a slab like this with dust. And then we just take some observers up like this a block here which with dust on top and now we can fill in the storage blocks and give this door a test yep. as you can see it works so now we can fill in our door blocks And this door is done. Yeah, I hope you enjoyed and thank you for watching.